Welcome to GatorZone.com. I'm Chris Harry alongside Scott Carter, and we're here to talk about Florida season opener Saturday at 4 o'clock against the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Now, we were here last week to talk about the season opener against the Idaho Vandals, which never happened because of 1,100 lightning strikes around the Gainesville area. But, Scott, it's a week later. This team hasn't played a football game. Is there anything different about the Florida Gators right now? You know, I know what they mean now by the meaning or the saying deja vu, Chris, because we were just here a few days ago. And I can't say there's a lot different. I mean, I know one thing that's different. These guys are probably more ready to play a game than they were even last week. If you heard uh, Michael Taylor, Dante Fowler talk about this yesterday, I mean, these guys are ready to get get out there. Obviously, get in a game in some live situation, get in front of the fans. You know, there was a great tease what happened Saturday night. I mean, they were pumped up if you were there. You saw how excited they were coming out of the tunnel and coming out onto the field. And then, you know, one play later, it's, they guys wait again for about 45 minutes and then go home after the game was uh, was postponed. So obviously they've had another week of practice, another week to prepare. Uh, so just a, a team that's ready to get out there. If there's one thing that's probably different from last week, I'd say that's it. It's not just a team that's ready to get out there. It's also a fan base that's ready to get, th get out there. From Coach Will Muschamp all the way down this roster, these players were really fired up about the reaction they got from the fans that remained throughout that bad weather and really welcomed this team onto the field for the game that never really happened. Yeah, that was probably the one of the biggest common themes throughout the week as you talk to Will Muschamp, the players, the assistant coaches, they all mentioned like the fans. I mean, how, you know, they stayed out there, especially the student section. I mean, if you were there at the stadium on Saturday night, you saw it. I mean, those, those folks stayed in the rain, they stayed out there. Maybe not the best idea during the lightning storm, but they did stay out there. And uh, when the team came out there, I mean, while the stadium may have only been half full, I mean, you kind of felt the electricity, just the, the excitement for a football game. And obviously, uh, they're hoping that's multiplied by a few times on Saturday with a full stadium and an actual football game. And an, ac and an actual football game. It's supposed to start at 4 o'clock. It's the Eastern Michigan Eagles. Gators have played them once before. I believe it was in the 2004 season, which was the season opener, but wasn't supposed to be the season opener because Hurricane Francis had come in and they had to postpone the season opener against Middle Tennessee State. Do we know anything about the Eastern Michigan Eagles? Well, we know they did play a game last week. They beat Morgan State 31-28, so they got one game under their belt. But there is a little history here. Ten years ago, these programs played 4-1, 49-10. Uh, it was an early season game like this, and like you mentioned, came after a, where weather impacted a Florida home game. So there is some uh, similarities. Ultimately, it's a game that Florida, you know, there, there's still some unknowns with this team because we haven't seen them play. Obviously, they got game film of uh, Eastern Michigan, so they, they got a little bit to study there. But I think really the, the common theme for the Gators on Saturday is just getting out there on the field and getting a game and, uh, you know, one for their first win uh, in a long time. Hopefully the common theme for GatorZone.com will be being able to talk about a football game this time next week. For Scott Carter, I'm Chris Harry. We hope to talk about that game next week. Thank you.